This is our first shun knife. Um, we've gotten tired of dealing with less expensive or less less quality cutlery, so we bought this one. Um, it is the seven and a half inch Santoku. This is the first knife we've ever owned that's worth more than twenty dollars, so this is pretty significant. I'm going to take off the outside wrapping. The box is a uh, really thick cardboard. It's pretty nice. Inside it's well, it's well packed. This is the, uh, the warranty information. Um, it's, the knife is sandwiched between two foam boards. And it looks like they had some adhesive here to keep, or, well actually I don't know, I don't know what this is. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Um, and this is the actual knife. You can see the wood, or the wood-like grains on the metal. Um, from what I understand, this is from the metal being folded over several times while the knife is being made. The handles, very, uh, very sturdy, feels kind of like a bowling ball. Um, feels like a, a light enough knife to be able to um, cut, but sturdy enough to survive lots and lots and lots of use. Um, there's some indentations on the other side. It's a very attractive, very beautiful knife, and I'm about to use it to cut an onion. Let's see here. Is there anything else inside the box, though? Looks like it's just, yeah, looks like it's just the two foam pieces, the, the warranty, and then the knife. So now I'm going to use the knife for the first time to cut an onion. Wow. Uh, the knife goes through very, very easily. I'm very happy with it. Uh, let's see. Can you put the knife upside down and just drop the onion on it and see if it cuts it? Uh, you mean... No, the other way. Like this? Yeah, drop the onion. Wow. Check that out. That's really neat. Here, we'll do it with this one. It doesn't go all the way through, but it's pretty significant. It goes through quite a bit. Um, this onion was about the size of my fist. Uh, baseball, about the weight of, it, it's, it's not as heavy as a baseball. It's lighter than a baseball. Uh, so yeah, very happy with, the, with our new Shun knife. Can you read a little about the warranty, what it says here? The warranty says, if you have a warranty concern, please do not return your knife to the place of purchase. All Shun Cutlery products from Kai USA Limited carry a limited warranty for the lifetime of the original owner, except when stated otherwise. Our products are guaranteed to be free from defects in original material and construction and to perform as advertised when properly used and maintained. Under this warranty, Kai USA Limited will repair or replace any product we find to be defective in its original material or construction. This limited lifetime warranty is non-transferable and does not cover normal signs of wear, tear, rust, or damage, breakage due to improper use or maintenance. To receive warranty repair or replacement, the owner must send the product to be evaluated by Kai USA Warranty Services in our Oregon headquarters. I can't pronounce the, uh, I can't pronounce the city name. In addition to the provisions of this warranty, you may also have other rights that can vary by state. No other warranties are implied or expressed other than what is specifically stated here. For repairs, please fill out the warranty form at www.shuncutlery.com or call 1-800-321, excuse me, 1-800-325-2891 and speak to our warranty department. How about just, uh, what does this say right here, use and care, just... For use and care, if you take the time to learn how to care for these knives, they can become an heirloom possession for you. Using your knife correctly isn't about how to maintain the edge and sharpen the blade, it's about how you use the knife on a daily basis. Cutting surfaces. One key to keeping your knife sharp is to use an appropriate cutting surface. There are a wide variety of options available to you and choosing the right cutting surface is as important as choosing the right knife. 
Hardwoods, such as maple or hinoki, bamboo, and poly polypropylene boards are all excellent choices for cutting on. A good cutting board will keep your blade sharp for substantially longer. Inappropriate cutting surfaces include tile, ceramic, marble, granite, any kind of glass, and acrylic cutting boards are all very hard on your knives. Washing. As with any lifetime investment, it's important to take the best care possible in order to prolong the life of your knife. There are a variety of reasons that we do not recommend that you put your knife in the dishwasher. Physical danger. Shun knives are incredibly sharp, which probably influenced your purchasing decision. In the dishwasher, these knives can pose a threat to other items, as well as the dishwasher itself, and anyone reaching in the dishwasher to unload. Heat exhaustion. The dishwasher is hard on everything, but especially on wood components. Chemicals. Many dishwashing detergents have harsh chemicals, including bleach and citrus extracts, which can be harmful to, the bo to both the metal and the blade and handles of your knives. So just, what's the overall impression of this knife again? Very sharp. Um, I, it does take some getting used to. Where I'm used to much duller knives, so I'm used to really uh, putting some pressure on the blade. These knives take almost no effort. I simply have to put the blade over the onion and it, also, it almost slices itself. So very careful. Um, definitely uh, plan on going slower <laughs> as you use these. These are very high quality, very sharp knives. And can you tell me what the model is of this one? According to the blade, this is the DM0762 uh, VG-Max Damascus. It says handcrafted in Japan, and it says classic DHG Sumo Sentoku 7.5. I'm very pleased with this knife. Okay, this is the, uh, the final review and the unboxing of our first set knife. And uh, we'll kind of let you guys know later on how, how it works out. If you guys have any if you guys have any questions feel free to, to leave a comment downstairs and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you!